Kevin Goliger is a writer and musician from Kingston, Ontario. Uh, he's mainly self-taught and has worked with a wide range of media, including watercolor, acrylic, charcoal, graphite, leathercraft, heraldry, metalsmithing, and calligraphy. He enlisted in the Canadian forces in 1970 at age 16 and served 25 years in both infantry and the Royal Canadian Electrical and Mechanical Engineers. During his service, painting and sketching became a recreational pastime. He retired in 1995 and then in 2003 was selected for the CFAP, undertaking paintings and sentinels at the McNaughton Gate Cenotaph at CFB Kingston. Please welcome Kevin. Good morning. Um, my name is Kevin Gallagher. My uh, sent with the artist program basically was mainly based on my experience as a cold warrior and a UN peacekeeper and working from my past history. Now the first image you see there is called Children of God and that is actually based on a photograph I took way back in 1972 of some Canadian soldiers in the back of an APC. We're about to leave the APC and engage in our first live fire shoot. Uh, the looks in their faces, I just had to grab a quick photograph before the ramp dropped. Um, I portray them as UN peacekeepers in this image, and uh, it just seemed suitable for the image. It's charcoal on toned paper, for those who are interested. And just to give the guys a shout out, they're old, old friends of mine. Uh, the first guy on the, the closest to you is Steve Gannon. The next guy is Mike Gazo, Al Finney, Bill Tebow, and then Bob Filiatra way in the back. Um, the next one, um, I call this one Holy Crap. Uh, the title had, had been changed. Originally, I, I, it was the uh, acronym for use of uncarnal, uh, unlawful carnal knowledge. I, that got turned out of the exhibit I entered it in, so I had to, had to dial it down a bit. This is based on a D&D photograph that I found in a book on UN peacekeeping in the library. The photograph was well, that big. I had it blown up, and because uh, it intrigued me, the gentleman in the center, and if you can't see it well in the picture there, the painting's over there, just the look on his face. These are uh, four Canadian soldiers in the back of an APC. They'd just been pulled out of their position after a firefight with the Turkish Army, their first firefight. They're members of the Canadian Airborne Regiment in 1974 in Cyprus. The Airborne held the UN protected area and kept the airport out of Turkish and Greek hands because whichever side would have gotten the airport would have brought in more troops and initiated the worst ethnic cleansing this country, this planet had ever seen. So the airborne stopped them. Uh, this painting is especially interesting because the gentlemen on the far left, they're all carrying C2 light machine guns. Sorry for the turn with the mic. Um, the guy on the far left has a little bump under his eye. I noticed it in the photograph. And uh, when you fire the C2 light machine gun and fire a lot of rounds out of it, you get a little bump there from the recoil on the cheek piece. And uh, this belies the official DND uh, s statements that Canada did not, Canadian troops did not engage Turkish forces during the, the 74 war in Cyprus. Actually, they did. Uh, the next one. Behind the Ismailia Towers. Now, a lot of my work, I try and put an I was there, uh, a little key into it. This is a three quarter ton Dodge uh, wagon or van. Uh, parked behind the towers, and if you notice down by the rear tire, there's a little thing on the ground. That's actually a can of Heineken. We did do a lot of drinking back in 1977 on the forces, unfortunately. <laughs> the next one is Dear John. Now, uh, this is a very small painting I did, portraying a Canadian soldier. And the inspiration for this painting was at... Um, 5.30 in the morning on April 8th, 1973. As a senior weapon second in the regiment, I had to take part in an investigation of a weapons incident. Um, and uh, basically one of our sergeants shot himself because of a letter he got from home. So, uh, I got tired of seeing that one in my nightmares and I decided to make a painting of it. Uh, the next one is Forward Log at El Tassa. 
El Tassa is a lonely little lump of sand in the middle of the Sinai Desert, and it was the four logistics area for the Canadian forces in Egypt in 1977. It's part of UNF UNEF-2. Um, this was a good day because most days after the sandstorm, the sand drifts piled up to the roofs and you couldn't even see the place. Uh, if you notice the two long lines on the that side of the painting, uh, the right side, I guess, um, those are 600-foot towers, radio towers. And they're actually, if you look closely, you'll actually see two linemen climbing the towers. And those guys are crazy. <laughs> but I had to put them in there. The next one is the rifle range at Camp Farnham. Uh, those who have joined the forces in the last couple of decades went through the recruit training in Camp Farnham and know the rifle ranges way too well. This was back in the 70s. Um, and if you notice, there's a, a red toolbox, like the third shooter in. There's a guy kneeling down beside you. That's a weapons tech, and he's actually performing a test called the gas piston drop to see if the, what was wrong with the weapon. Um, the next one is the EMI workshop in Cyprus. Um, those who worked there and worked at transport, which would be on the left side of the photo, um, around the corner, actually, uh, would remember the walk down this road every morning to go to work. Uh, the next one is actually a self-portrait. Boffin test fire on HMCS protector, getting them ready for the Persian Gulf War in the early 90s. Uh, I got to conduct the test fires for the two Boffin anti-aircraft guns after we gave them back to the Navy. No, I'm the guy in the green with the white hood. <laughs> um, for some reason, that's my wife's favorite photo of me, too. The next one is Centurion Night Shoot. This one is actually from memory. Once you see a Centurion fire at night, it's not something you forget. And it also has meaning to, for me because uh, towards the end of my career, the, the young fellows would look at the old Sarge and say that when I joined the Army, Centurion was a rank and not a tank. So I have made this to disprove that point. Uh, now the final one is Act of Remembrance. Now, uh, this is the painting I did for the War Artist Program, or the Canadian Force Starters Program, rather. And it depicts the uh, setting up the Sentinels for the November 11th ceremony held every year at McNaughton Gate in CFB Kingston. It's the one across from McDonald's. Um, I, I plan to do this painting. Um, I made many versions, and if you look carefully at the original painting over there, you can see where I've sanded it down and started over again a number of times. One of, my, one of my aims was to put a ghost platoon in there somewhere, because this was where the Remy School used to be, the Royal Canadian Electric Mechanical Engineering School. And during the Second World War, a lot of young men went, walked, marched out of that gate, marched to downtown Kingston and got on the train and went overseas. And a lot of them didn't come back. So. Um, I decided against it, and as I was paint, I, I'd finished painting the tr reflection of the trees in the, the gatehouse window in the center of the painting there, and I thought I did a pretty good job re representing the, the uh, stand of pine trees that are across the street. And then my daughter came downstairs to the studio and looked at it, and who are those people in the window? So if you look carefully, there's my ghost platoon. Quite by accident, they appeared. They reflected in the window. And I'm still not happy with that sky. And that's it. Thank you.